Hello everyone, this is Gordon Recusa. And this is Barbara Recusa. We're doing our Bifocal Reviews of 2010 Oscar nominations, and here's our picks. For Best Film, we have nominated The Black Swan, The Fighter, Inception, The Kids Are All Right, The King's Speech, 127 Hours, The Social Network, Toy Story 3, True Grit, and Winter's Bone. We're going to jump right into our picks now, and we're going first to Barbara's picks. Dun, 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 dun. I picked the King this King's Speech this year. Um, it was my favorite, and that's why I'm picking it. Normally, it's a conflict with me that the picture that I think is going to win is not necessarily the picture that I like the best. Although I was, I thought it was a disappointing year where Gordon thought it was a very good year for films. I found the films uh, to be dark and disturbing. Black Swan and Winter's Bone were not films I think should have even been considered for Oscars, but then that's my opinion. Okay, well, uh, let's go on to your pick for Best Actress. This is Barbara's pick for Best Actress. We have Annette Benning for... The Kids Are All Right, Nicole Kidman for Rabbit Hole, Jennifer Lawrence for Winner's Bone, Natalie Portman for Black Swan, Michelle Williams for Blue Valentine. And your pick is? I'm picking Natalie Portman. Uh, I'm almost certain she's going to win. I did not like this film, but uh, the performances were very, very good. And especially considering her dance and performance along with her acting. So definitely Natalie Portman, I think, is going to win this year. Okay, I know you have some other things to say about the Best Actress. Uh, we can save those for the end if we have time. And uh, let's get right on to your Best Actor picks. You have to choose for Best Actor, Javier Bardem for Beautiful, Jeff Bridges for True Grit, Jesse Eisenberg for The Social Network, Colin Firth for The King's Speech, James Franco for 127 Hours. Your pick is? I am picking Colin Firth for The King's Speech. I'm sorry to say I did not see 127 Hours, nor did I see Beautiful with Javier Bardem. So um, I am a, a bit limited, but I'm going to go with Colin Firth for the King's Speech. Okay, and anything else you want to add about this category before we move on? No. Okay, then. Well, then we're going to just jump right back into mine. I hope that your memories are at least long enough that you can recall the choices. But for Best Picture, I'm going to have to pick da, 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 a social network in this case. Um, a social network, I thought, met all the criteria for the Best Picture. It had uh, the Best Director, I believe. It had the Best Script to work from. The dialogue was very snappy. Uh, it was very much like the social network experiment that it was trying to portray so it was it was bright it was it was new it was a little bit different but it still had that uh, that quality that we get from um, the West Wing uh, Aaron Sorkin who is a great writer so that's gonna be have to be my pick it, it fits all of the categories for best actor I'm gonna go back to my original pick for best movie which was the King's Speech um, I was really impressed with that, that whole movie and it was a pretty close race for me for three or four films, including Inception, which I really liked a, a lot. But um, I still have to say that Colin Firth did the best job in his acting. Uh, I really believe that he has a stutter and if he didn't before, he probably does now. So the best actress for me, I'm going to say, is, again, Natalie Portman. So you and I agree both on the best actor and best actress categories, even though, again, this wasn't my best, uh, my favorite picture either. I didn't pick it for best picture or for anything else, quite honestly, although I did think it had some great special effects touches. Um, Natalie Portman's performance really was stellar, and she made the movie, as far as I'm concerned. Hey, wait a minute. What about the supporting roles? Yeah, uh, the supporting roles, and there's also the director and the script writers that we should acknowledge, but we don't really have time right now. Uh, why don't you go ahead and say your piece? Well, I have to say that I think the Academy made a, 
big mistake by placing Haley Steinfeld from True Grit in a co-starring role. She filled most of the screen in True Grit and she was excellent. And why they put her as a co-star instead of a starring role, I, I don't know. That kind of changes my opinion. And as far as a, a supporting role as an actor, Christian Bale and uh, Jeff Britt, uh, I'm sorry. Jeffrey Rush. Jeffrey Rush are, uh, they're both stunning performances. But I have to give the edge to Jeffrey Rush because he seemed to be able to, to act better without saying anything. Okay, well that's it for us right now. And uh, stay tuned on YouTube for broadcasts.